Now we are going to discuss there is another problem related to uh, IIT. This question was already asked in IIT JE 2013. It's a very, again this important questions. They may be questions asked like this related to this particular topic. Just I will read the question. After that we will solve. This is an easy thing. The only thing is you must understand. The basic concept, if you understand the basic concept, it's very easy. Let us consider, for example, this problem, two balls carrying equal charges. There are two balls. Let it be, this is the ball A, this is ball B, and there are two equal charges. Let it be Q, this is a charge Q, this is charge Q, equal charges. There are two equal charges are suspended. What is thing? They are suspended from a common point. From a common point. This is a common point. Let it be. This is a common point. This is a common point. There are two charges suspended from a common point by a string. This is the one string. Another string is this is another string. Of length. Of equal length. This length, this length or equal. The equilibrium separation between them is R. Let it be, this is the equilibrium. The separation between the charge, let it be R. This is given here. Now the string, now the strings are rigidly clamped at the of the height. Next situation. These are first situations. First, the first situation, there are two equal charges separated at distance or suspended from a common point with a string of equal length. These are first situations. Actually, the next situation they revised that is now the strings are rigidly clamped at the of the height, sorry, it's a key word, so of the height, of the height. For example, this height is y, let it be y. Now the clamp can be changed of a fixed value. I would understand. This is a, the distance is y, the distance is y, this distance is of now, the next situation, now the strings are rigidly clamped at of the height. Of the height. Then, let it be, for example, this is the clamp already replaced. This is the equilibrium position. Now, I am fixing the point here. Here the charge is, another charge is placed in the string. This is a ball having charge. This is a ball having charge Q. This is another ball having a charge Q. But the only thing is, this is a of the height. Y by 2. This is also Y by 2. This is of height. Okay. Now, of height. The equilibrium separation between the ball. That is a equilibrium separation between the ball. That is little b or dash. They are asked to find the value of R dash. This is a question. Again, I am repeating the question. If you know the clear cut idea about the question, the solution is very easy. Two balls, that is a metal sphere having charges. Two balls carrying equal charges. Equal charges. This is a equal charges. Same magnitude as well as charge also same. This is positive means this is also positive. This is negative means this is also negative. Equal charges. Suspended from a common point. This is a common point. With a string of equal length. Okay. Then separation is odd. Separation is odd. What they asked? Next situation that is clear is, is a slight change. This common point has to be changed as 
C dash here. Let it be C dash here. The common point has to be changed. How this is changed? Half of its value. This is y. The distance is y. Vertical distance. Here y by 2. This C point changed to C dash. The length is y by 2. The length is here. The length is here y by 2. y by 2. Length is here y by 2. Now we are, we are going to solve these situations. What they asked? They asked to find the value of r dash. The first option is r by root 2 square. Second option 2r by root 3. Third option r by uh, 2 1 by 3. 2 power 1 by 3. Uh, 2r by 3. This is the three option. Four options were given. Uh, I think you clearly understand the concept. I will solve it. Now we will solve it. For example, it makes an angle theta. Let it be that the angle is theta. This angle, let it be theta. Okay? Then, this is a tension. The string has tension. The string has te tension. There is a string tension in this string. That is, uh, this T can be divided into two components. That you know, this theta means this also theta. This also opposite angles, same value, theta. Then, this T can be resolved into two components. One is, this is T cos theta. This is a perpendicular component. That is what? T sin theta. You must understand clearly this particular point. This T can be resolved into two components. One is T cos theta. There are two charges. Q, Q. Equal charges suspended at a common point C. There are two charges suspended common point C. This is a tension in the string. This tension divided into two components. T cos theta, T sin theta. Just to take this particular point alone separately, you can clearly understand. Okay? For example, let us consider this point. This is a charge Q. There is one force in the both directions. That is what T cos theta. This is a, this is a force. T cos theta. There is an another force. T sin theta. There is an another force. T sin theta. I am taking this particular charge alone. First we calculate this. After that we will solve theta in manner. And this is one force is T cos theta, another force is T sin theta. There is another force which is acting in the downward direction that is mass, that is mass in the acceleration due to gravity, nothing but a weight. There is another force, downward direction, that is weight, mg. There is one more force. This is a charge. This is also charge. There are two charges separated a distance r placed in a common point with the string. This is also this is a string, this is also string. There are two like charges, that is equal charges. There are two equal charges. There are two equal charges means there may be a repulsive force. There may be a repulsive force. There is a repulsive force. There may be a repulsive force. That force is electrostatic Coulomb force. Okay? This is another force is also acting here. That is F E Coulomb force. Electrostatic Coulomb force. If you consider this particular point charge there are four different forces acting. There are four different forces acting. One is 
that is a t can be divided into t cos theta t sin theta that is t cos theta t sin theta mg electrostatic force there are four different forces are acting on the charges are you able to understand this is the first step the same manner here also four different forces are acting just you consider this particular charge alone for example at balance at balance the balancing condition at its balancing condition for example t cos theta is equal to what let it be t sin theta is equal to what t sin theta is equal to what electrostatic force coulomb force is nothing but 1 by 4 by x plus not q1 q2 by r square 1 by 4 by x plus not can be written as k q1 q q2 q then q square the separation is r square separation is r square then in the same manner just you can balance these two equations t cos theta mg that is t cos theta is equal to what mg i don't understand t cos theta is equal to what mg t cos theta t sin theta is equal to electrostatic force of attraction t cos theta is equal to weight of the charge that is mg acting in the downward direction now you divide one by other that is tt getting cancel divide one by other one by other what will happen tt T getting cancel then sin by cos what tan tan theta is equal to what k q square by mg that r square also here comes r square let it be this is the equation number 1 let it be this is the equation number 1 are you able to understand let us consider this particular triangle this particular triangle c o b let us consider the triangle c o b that's a c this is c this is o the string here charge q the point is b it makes an angle theta let us consider this particular portion also this particular portion also you find the tan theta that is tan theta is equal to what opposite side to the angle that is This, this is this is this this value that is r by two. That is what this value is r by two. Opposite side. Then adjacent side. This is ninety degree. This adjacent side is this one y. That is y. Let it be this equation number two. I don't understand. The first equation by balancing all the four component you can get it. Second equation. Just to take this particular triangle, you can get it. Have you understand? This is tan theta. This also tan theta. Then equating these two. Then equating these two. How do we equate these two? That is k q square. Can I write here? That is k q square. Whole thing divided by m g r square. What is called mg r square? This is equal to what? That is r divided by 2y. R divided by 2y. R divided by 2. Now let us start. Then just I am going to relate this one. Let it be. Just we bring this here. That is r cube. or q all other things are constant proportional to y then r is equal to what r proportional to y 
power 1 by t. Let, let, let us consider this equation number 3. Equation number 3. m constant, g constant, k constant, q square is also constant, 2 constant, then you put it as a proportionality. Then or you bring this here, R Q, that is R Q is directly proportional to Y. Then R is equal to what? Y power 1 by 3. 1 by 3. Y power 1 by 3. Now, now we are going to find R dash. Our aim is to find the R dash only, that is R dash. R dash. We are going to find the value R dash, that is R dash is proportional to instead of y here y by 2 y by 2 this is the second situation half of this value clamp is used to y by sorry y by 3 this is y by 2 power 1 by 3 power 1 by 3 power 1 by 3 again this can be written as that is what proportional to y 1 by 3 divided by 2 1 by 3 y 1 by 3 is what or 1 y 1 by 3 is or then this can be written as or divided by 2 power 1 by 3 it's a very simple thing that is proportional to or power q root of 2. Let it be. This is the result for us. Just to check it. First option not correct. Second option not correct. Let us consider three third option. That is r power q root of 2. This is the case here. It's a very interesting problem. Only thing is we just go over this the basic concept. Then only you can understand this. This is a clamp here. The clamp is changed of its height. Of its height. Then I will give the shortcut method also for this particular problem also. Uh, that shortcut method is useful for this particular concept also. We will discuss shortcut method. Okay. There is a shortcut here. For example, this height is reduced to R, that is Y by 2. That's the value is R by 2 power 1 by 3. The height is reduced to y by 3, then r by 3, power 1 by 3. The height is reduced, height is reduced, height is reduced, y divided by 4, that is 1, 4, then this value can be written as r by 4 times 1 by 3. Just I am going to write uh, in general, uh, this is nothing but r the shortcut to the formula is a very interesting shortcut method. Very interesting shortcut method that is R or divided by n power 1 by 3. Just you know that. If it is a problem, then this is shortcut method. That is R dash proportional to R divided by n power 1 by 3. This is very interesting shortcut. Very interesting shortcuts. How? What is n? n is number of times reduced. Number of times reduced. n is what? n is what? Number of times number of times reduced. Number of times reduced. Here, the height is reduced by 2, that is 1 by 2 means instead of n, you put a 2. 
that is r by 2 1 by 3. If it is reduced there, 3 times, that is y by 3, r by 3, power 1 by 3. If it is reduced 4 times, then r by, instead of n, 4, power 1 by 3. It's a very interesting shortcut. Problem is like this, just to you remember this one. This is a thing, listen here. This is a very interesting problem. This question was asked in uh, 2013. Uh, likewise, I introduce more, more, more problem in the forthcoming sessions. Uh, for that, you follow this class. There is a single process or three soy creation. This is a channel that is three soy creations. Just to go through this channel, just a large number of videos are there. Uh, just to practice, practice, practice. Practice makes you perfection. Then only you can solve the problem in an easy manner with your own interest. That is, interest will you the solving the problem. For that, you go through more problems. Large number of videos are there in this channel. For that, you, you don't think that is, you subscribe to this particular channel, Three Soy Creations. You subscribe this channel. Uh, you can get more uh, videos and the updation also will come often for you. All the best. Do better manner. Uh, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes you perfection. This is the uh, motto uh, to uh, get through the entrance examinations. All the best. Thanks a lot.